Good morning. How are you? Well, it is time for our reading lesson. So I want you to predict what you think we're going to be learning about today. We're going to be learning about a new place today. What do you remember about being a close reader? Well, these are the things that we've been doing. We look closely at the pictures. We reread important parts of the text. We act out important parts of the text. We listen carefully to the words, talk with classmates about the text, draw and write about the text, and answer questions about the words and pictures using details from the text. Here's our learning target for today. I can answer questions using key details about the problem in protecting the Amazon from off to class. A problem is something difficult to understand or deal with. So this is our learning target. So we're going to put up our magic bow and arrow, aim at that target, and we're going to release on the count. Three, two, one. Pshh. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be looking at the book called Off to Class. We've been learning an awful lot about what school is and why it is important. And we're going to be keep thinking on that question. So take a look at our book that we are going to be starting today. It's called Off to Class, Incredible and Unusual Schools Around the World by Susan Hughes. Now, do you think this book is a fiction book or nonfiction? This is a nonfiction book. It's an informational text that has facts and information, and we can learn from this book. Now, based on the words in the picture of the title or in the cover, what do you think this book is going to be about? It's going to be about interesting schools around the world. Now, we're going to be researchers, and we're going to study different schools around the world, and we're going to study specific schools in different countries, and we'll learn about those specific schools, but we won't learn about all the schools in that country. And with some informational texts, you do not have to read the whole text. So we're going to only be looking at certain sections of this story, or I should say book, um, but we're going to be reading it closely. So let's get into this book and see what it's all about. Where's the camera? All right, we're going to dive into this story. So we're going to skip to page 12. And if I look in the corner here, I can see that we're going to be learning about a rainforest school in Xixuau, Brazil and that's in South America. We live in North America. So let's read about Xixuau, Brazil. Let's look closely at the pictures to see what we can uh, learn about Xixuau, Brazil. Looking at the pictures, what can you already tell what Xixuau is Sheesh, wow, Brazil is like. Well, I can see that it has lots of water. Ooh, there's even snakes that live there. So we are going to um, be close readers and we'll be recording our thinking today. These paragraphs here will tell us the main idea of the text. So that's where we're going to begin reading. Protecting the Amazon. Macias lives in the remote village of Xixuau, deep in the Brazilian rainforest. His village is on the banks of the Rio Negro, and the only way to get there is by boat. To get to the closest city, Manuas, <laughs> takes five days by canoe or 30 to 40 hours by speedboat. Until recently, the village was virtually cut off from the rest of the world. There is no electricity and no phones, and without electricity or a connection to the outside world, the villagers found it hard to earn a living without turning to illegal hunting, trapping, or logging. The tiny one-room school offered only basic primary school up to grade three. If students in the village wanted to go further in school, they had to move to Manuas. Remote means to live far away from where most other people live. 
Now for the Rainforest School, where does Macias live? He lives in Xixuao, Brazil. And what is the only way to get to his village? By boat. How many days does it take to get to the closest city if you travel by canoe? Five days. Now, does that mean the next city is far away or close to Micaias? It is far away. Now, until recently, the village was virtually cut off from the rest of the world. So what does that mean? Well, the text says that it had no electricity and no phones. Now, when we say until recently, what time of frame what time frame is that? That means not that long ago. Until recently, you were a first grader. Now you're a second grader. So let's pretend that you are cutting a piece of paper. We cut it. If we are separated, what does that mean? It means that they are apart. So Xixuao, Brazil is separate from the rest of the world. It's apart. All right. So when it's separate, it's separated because there's no phone, there's no electricity. So there is definitely no internet. They don't know what iPhones are or Xboxes or TVs. They don't have any of that because they have no electricity. So what do we already know about the problem for children in Xixuao? They couldn't stay in the village to learn. That's exactly right. So let's move on. All right. What doesn't the village have that where Micaias lives? Electricity or phones. Now, if there were no electricity or phones, what are some things that they cannot do? What have you learned about the school where Micaias goes? Well, it's one room, it's tiny, and you can only go up to grade three. What would the students in the village have to do if they wanted to keep going to school after third grade? They would have to go to another city, which was very far away. We know the closest city is five days if you travel by canoe. So even though this community has a problem, there are still some great things going on at the Rainforest School. What's something you've noticed in the book that you liked about the Rainforest School? One strategy writers used to take notes about what they read. Instead of writing full sentences, they may draw or write a few words to help them remember what they've read. So looking at the note catchers on the screen, we are going to write down the problem and the solution. What is the problem for this rainforest school? Why is it hard for children that live in Xixuao, Brazil to get to school? Now, when we fill in our note catchers, we're not going to write full sentences here. We're just going to write important words that help us remember the problem. We can also draw pictures to help us to remember some words. I learned from this section that the problem was that the school was very small. So the most important words to write are small school. I can also draw a school that's very small. Another part of the problem is that the school only goes to the third grade, so I will write only to third grade. I'm not sure if a picture would help me remember these notes, so I won't draw a picture. So what strategies did I use to help me take notes? Well, I thought of one idea at a time. I thought of a few important words for the idea, and I thought of a picture to help me remember the notes 
Um, if possible, I wrote those down. So this is how we can take notes. We can think about one idea at a time that answers the question. We can think of a few important words for that idea, and we can think of a picture to help you remember the notes. Write down your notes and also draw a picture. So I can plan and share my writing with a writing partner. Now I know the ones at home don't have a writing partner there with you, but I'm sure your family would love to see the writing that you do. So listen as I reread the sidebar under Makai's photograph. Look carefully at the illustrations and answer the question below. What do we know about Makai's village? So we're going to use the text and the illustrations to write a short description of the village. Now we are going to read this section of the book. And while I am reading this passage, I want you to be thinking about what you know about Micaiah's village and be thinking about how you could describe it. So this is Micaiah right here. And he says, my name is Micaiah and I am 10 years old. I live in the village in the middle of the rainforest. In my village, there are a few houses surrounded by the jungle, which has lots of birds. We go fishing in canoes built by the people here in the village. There's a crocodile in the village part. At my school, there are 19 children, ranging in age from 4 to 16 years old. We all study in the same classroom. We have wireless internet and a computer. We study mathematics, the Portuguese language, history, natural sciences, and geography. And very often we talk about conservation. We learn not to throw rubbish into the river, not to kill the animals, and not to kill down trees unnecessarily. I like my class. My classmates, my teacher, and I like being in the middle of a rainforest and breathing clean air. So remember, Earlier, it said until recently, the village was virtually cut off from the rest of the world. So they used to be cut off from the rest of the world because they had no electricity and no phones. But now they do have the Internet and phones. And, and Micaiah does have a computer at his school now to help him to learn. So in the text box below, I want you to write about what you know about Micaiah's village and use the text and the illustrations to write a short description of the village. Can't wait to read it.